Only you a scrap to spare. Mercy, traveler. Never have I been so hungry. Ah! You think the merchants will sell to Raparu? You think, even if they did, the Mataru would let me keep what I bought? You have not been here long, stranger. Always there is prize share, though the pile has grown leaner these years. Little falls to our pile that is not rotten or sour from this week and maybe before. <sighs> Many Rabaru come from other islands these days. They are strong and capable workers. Not like me, but they too tithe to the prize share. Forgive me, I say too much. If you would know more, ask Inoi. Our elder listens to those in need, and he speaks out of earshot of the guards. He's there, in the house to the right when you cross the bridge. He can speak of the hunger. <laughs> the gullet is a lawless place, forgotten. The only authority here is the Matarus, and they don't work on our behalf. But if it is a wise man you want, seek Anoi in his home. He tries to keep us safe and fed. He does not always succeed, but he does try. Trying's worth a lot down here. Thank you. I'll share it, I swear. Thank you, traveler. Watch and learn. Give me a real chip. Consider it done. They took him. For what? Pataro's the second this month. And they say the pittings aren't increasing. Do they lie to themselves or just to us? At this rate, who'll be left to suffer the Mataru's ire? Right. He does do that with his hands. Tis rough in his precious spelly book that scares the lad. Or maybe tis notch in his wee finger. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop. My sides hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, I miss this. Surely you've spied how he's always brushing himself? He won't say, but he's a fear of seagull shit. Say you, girl. Hi. 
I see much and many things. I simply do not look with these eyes in the same manner that others do. I have heard much as well. People speak of your kindness, watcher who chases Aethas. I also hear the Raparu's heartbeat, grown thready and pained. Now a watcher comes to the gullet, as Amira has shown me you would. The Raparu are being crushed from the top. We starve so slowly, it is an agony. No one deserves to suffer, not like this. This is the Juana way. The fish of our nets are drawn for the tribe. The fruit of our fields, too, is reaped for the tribe. And the coin of our pockets belongs not to one, but to all. All spoils are gifted to the whole of the tribe. The tribe then partakes from the top down, from the most deserving to the least. The Mataru risk their lives to protect the tribe. The Kuaru provided skilled goods and services. The tribe takes care of the Raparu more than we contribute to the tribe. Or it did, before our numbers swelled too large. The Dawn Stars would feed us, but the guards forbid them to pervert the order of sharing. There was a man who helped us, a soft-hearted pirate named Ulug. He worked with the Principi captain, Mad Morena, they call her, to bring us food from the black market. But for days now, we've had nothing. Ulug was never late with his shipments, always very conscientious, a good boy. For him to disappear for several days without word, he must be dead. The Queen refuses to increase our share of the prize share. Without Ulug's shipments, we will surely starve. I am asking you, what else can we do? If you do not know your way to the row, someone at the hole may be able to help you. The starving sighted and the pirates paid. Everyone's grins and giggles. Savvy play, Cap, worthy of Romaro himself. Long as it doesn't end up going wrong for the same reasons. You must find Delver's Row, girl. They hide a lift that will take you down to where the pirates play. Surely you will find Ulug's contact there. If you do not know your way to the row, someone at the hole may be able to help you. Follow the path that Ulug first walked for us, but do not meet his same end. I've lived for many years in this gullet. My skin and bones have withered with each year, twisted harder, so that the Raparu now call me Paki Takiri. Though you can see, I am not very big or much sturdy. If a dispute arises within the gullet, I will see it resolved. That I can promise you. 
Both time and tragedy have rotted the gullet into a place of filth and crowdedness. Once, we Raparu lived in a fine neck of the city. But that time has fallen, and with it, the ruins of our old city under Neketaka. Long before the foreigners swarmed us, a sea quake rumbled our city, and the mountain cratered down. Many cried to Andra and were swallowed for their efforts. Now the Mataru send us into the ruins of the old city to be punished. Within that pit lies darkness and death. Not silence, but an end. You mean the black market that lies nestled in the depths of the narrows? The guards do their best to stomp it out, but they are a single boot against a thousand ants. Ah, them pox-riddled arborogs would be better served taking towels to the sea for all the drying they'd give it. I do not know how to get there, but someone at the tavern might. If we cannot convince the Mataru nor the Principi, I believe the Dawn Stars may help us. Peatley is a child of the Dawn Stars and has become the Gullet's most cherished healer. I believe she would willingly hear your request for charity. Speak, and I will listen. So you're saying you're literally a pop- Paintly? Good gone, I nearly didn't recognize you. You look more death warmed over than Dawnstar. I didn't see you there, Shoddy. Listen, you and your friends should move along. I'm not feeling so good, and I'd hate to get you sick. Nothing a little ginger root and some bed rest won't cure. Please, let me be. Could you use your skill at the Temple of Gone. <laughs> <coughs> Could you use it here. There's some sick Raparu in the back. Not much I can do for them now besides keep them comfortable and hidden. Is that wise? Keeping a room full of sick people in the most crowded district in the city? It's better than leaving them to wander the district. I can give them a dignified death, if nothing else because they've got drowner's lung. Spreads like gossip and kills even faster. A gift from the Valians. Fills your lungs with fluid. Gets you coughing all the time, trying to clear them. One of my patients coughed so hard, she broke a rib. Eventually, it gets so bad, you can't hack it out. You just lie there, struggling for breath until you choke on your own phlegm. I hear it's a long, hard end. 
I heard some Raparu had gotten sick, so I brought them here to care for them. City healers don't come down here. Realized what it was when I heard the rattle in their chests, the way they gasped for air. Only cure is an elixir made with pine seed oil. It costs a lot, though not nearly as much as an epidemic. Still, if news of this outbreak gets out, these poor souls will get tossed into the old city. No one with any money in Nekataka spends it on the Raparu. Maybe you can. You can get nearly anything on Delver's Row. Only trouble is finding it and paying for it. Unfortunately, the children of the Dawn Stars don't have many connections in this part of town. But you might. Not meaning any offense, just that you seem like someone who's comfortable on that side of town. If not, I bet you could find someone at the tavern who knows where Delver's Row is. Criminal types like to wet their throats after a long day of lying, cheating, and stealing. <coughs> About the only honest one. The Raparu here are treated like garbage. Even made to eat garbage from that scrap heap opposite the lift. Not that I need to tell you. And Dario and his principy scum took advantage of the neglect down here to set up the black market on Delver's Road. He runs most of the criminal mischief that goes on here. Some say he's an old Valian traditionalist. Some say he's a thug with good taste. Either way, I steer clear of him. All the while, the gullet gets more crowded as tribes from the other islands come to Nekataka. Some are driven from their homes by pirates, raiders, even trading company thugs. Others hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. That's what Dario and his people say. They recruit Raparu to sneak things from the docks, report on meetings between traders. <sighs> I can't blame the Raparu. Not when the alternative is eaten from a trash pile. But I don't trust these Principi any more than I do the trading companies. Difference being, lass, the Raparu be their customers and confederates alike. To the company bilge barnacles, they be only product. And whenever the city authorities finally crack down, the Raparu will be caught in the middle. As best we can. Most of us came from Red Saris after the Vorlis plot and the Saints War. Or we were born to families that did. We remember what it's like to scrape by. Some days, I think maybe this is why Aethus brought us to dead fire. So we can do some good. Other days, I'm too damn tired. We tried, but the one away is prize share, meaning anything we'd give these people has to go through the palace. Best I can tell, our food went to the queen's table, assuming it didn't rot in the storehouse first. Now, back on the sorcerer, me and Ramora used to take work like this on a regular. Now, we can't go making promises. But, uh, I think me and the Cap could work out a fair deal. That's a question for Solwyn. I'd ask her myself, but I got my hands full here. She's High Priestess at the Temple of Gone. Tell her Pitney sent you. She'll listen. Probably. Need something?
I heard you and Isselmir again. I do wish you would stop encouraging her. Real sorry, Aloth. We'll keep it down. You think I care about your childish jokes? What bothers me is how she doggy is my grimoire. And you keep bringing her out. Just looking to lighten the mood, I guess. Here. I got this. I got this. Watch and learn. to me. Please! I did nothing! Enough! Or do you wish to consign her to the old city as well? Let him go! Bea! I'm sorry! Uh... Your tongue flops like a dying fish. I tire of its stink. Lower him down! May Tangelo and devour your souls, you cold-blooded eels. Gone. Dead. What more do you want? Forgive me. I thought you were one of the foreigners who sent him away. Outsiders here always go to the tavern. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Never. That is the surest way to get the attention of the Overseer. I hear it is somewhere in the Narrows. It is possible Anoi knows. He has lived here longer than any. One day, the Mataru will descend on Delver's Road to clean out the thieves and pirates. Stay away from it. Never. That I hear it is some- His hut is just along the walkway to the southwest. Mataru is punished already, I say. Whatever offense he gave, do not hang it on our necks. <laughs> we say the only thing that live in these depths are ghost eels. And fish eaten by ghost eels. Which are you? The traitors say they bring riches in their big ships. But what reaches the gullet? Only crime and sickness, I say. That is only the start. The Rawatayans promise marvels, strong walls, and plenty for all. Akira, still my back aches from building their fort, and still I live here. And Bataro said we would finally leave. I heard a Rawatayan captain took up at the tavern. Suduzo, they call her. They say she is a traitor, so I thought maybe she will take passengers. Batara went and found her in the tavern. Next I see him, the guards are dragging him to the cage.
They say many Rawatine captains are women. Maybe her ears will open better to you. Bataro took some coin, everything he scraped together working on the docks, and he went to bargain with the captain. I would offer it to you, but it is probably in the old city with Bataro, or in someone else's pocket. Many ships leave from Queen's birth, but the Valians take slaves. They say the Principe smuggle goods in the caverns below, but I cannot trust such people. But the Rauatians have mighty cannons, and a big homeland they abandon for ours. Perhaps there is more room for us there. That much copper would only bring suspicion. Besides, maybe Suduza will accept it in exchange for passage. We are six. Three children, two babes, and me. Such a strange question. A Raparu child is the child of all Raparu. At least that is the way in the village where Bataro and me came from. But here, we are all strangers. No one looks in on the sick or cares for the children. I could never ask someone to go down to the old city, but since you offer, it is a big and dangerous place. But perhaps he hid himself. Perhaps. Please help him if you can. Or bring me news if you cannot. We are six. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Suduzo. They say she is a traitor, so I thought maybe she will take passengers. But she threw Bataro out. Always Bataro was careful with his words, just like you. But a Raparu in Nekataka gives offense just by breathing the air of his betters. Before you were a ship hunter? Ah, rough times, lass. Would spare you the telling, lest you be set on it. I reckon I can handle it. It's nice. Far as holes in the ground go, I reckon. Dario said there's treasures in that pit. Hey, uh, fresh face. Welcome to the hole. Just got two rules, yeah? Keep your hands to yourself <laughs> and don't fall in. Need something? <laughs> the hole's been here so long as there's been a gullet. Though it ain't always been mine. What's the neighborhood without a place to get pissed drunk and lose your pants? Well, it's a bit of a story. See, Berta found me face down in a pile of rot ghasts in the old city and asked if I was looking for work. Of course. No doubt you'd fit right in. But getting there? That's dangerous business, fresh face. But it ain't none of my business, I suppose. If you're dead set on dying, you'll find Delver's Row in the Narrows, those twisty alleys carved into the mountain on the west side of the gullet. But since I heard you've been good to the folks around here, I'll tell you how to get there without getting yourself dead first. Take a right the first chance you get, then keep going forward until you see a merchant stall. Look close. There's a secret hallway behind a curtain there. That's your entrance. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but all the same, you'd best watch yourself in Delver's Row. The crooks there will kill you just as soon as cheat you out of everything you own. <laughs> if Dario doesn't gut you first. You stick around the gullet long enough, you might find out. What you need?
Sure, sure, sure. Bert has cooked up the best grub the gullet has to offer. It's not actual grubs, though. Probably. You're not picky, right? Let me know if you see something that makes your stomach rumble. I am here, Seduzo Nui. Do we expect any foreign merchants today? We do not, Seduzo Nui. Then state your business quickly. I want to avoid another surprise. Nearly done, I hope. I sold a consignment of iron and cultural coral, and will return to Rautai with vorals, murkberries, and Andra stars. Are you writing that down? Uh, nay, lass. We we'll merely moved to a momentary bout of verse by the beauty on display before me. <clears throat> Gladly. Anyway, that's what brought me here. <laughs> the Royal Deadfire Company would uh, frown on business in this district. But there's no harm if they don't know. What is your business with me? The one who threatened me. I shall not soon forget him. These Huana learn too many pretty words from the Valians. You cannot trust what they say. In a few years, these people will all learn our ways and pay homage to the Ranganui. But you asked about, what was his name? Bataro? This fellow wanted passage on my ship, as if I were the village ferryman. I told him there was none to be had, certainly not at his price. He told me he had coin, lots of it. I did not believe him. How could a man who lives in a garbage heap have enough money for passage? So you assumed the worst and threw him to the wolves? No, you presumptuous Adirin. I assumed nothing until I saw the Swollenet. A marked coin, a token of allegiance. The Principi carry them. I knew then that I was dealing with a pirate. I had heard they were influential in the gullet, but I did not realize how much so. I called for the guards, and they dragged him away. That is the last I saw of him. There's nothing I can do. The passenger quarters have been reserved by a dwarf named Orin. Why do you bring this to me? He and his people are gold-packed knights. Orin is... <laughs> particular. Well, perhaps that is good. He just finished a contract to guard the Valian Luminous Mill. I hear Anamancers are also particular. He's upstairs. Just do not interrupt him if he's arranging things. Nearly done, I hope. I sold a consignment of iron and cultural coral, and will return to Rautai with vorals. What is your business with me? There's nothing I can do. Why do you bring this to me? nothing I can do. Why do you bring this to me? Nearly done, I hope. <laughs> the Royal Deadfire Company would uh, frown on business in this district, but there's no harm if they don't know. Very well. I could take three more in the hold, and no more. Orin and his crew have reserved the berths. I will already have to abandon crates of cargo to make room for these three.
plus the food and water they require. Send them to me. The sooner we leave, the better. And I told you there is none. The three I agreed to take will barely fit in the hold as it is. you call the color on that meat? Ash? I got this. I got this. Why do you bother me, little kith? No? The gullet reeks of illness. The beds are too small. An imp tried to nest in my hair. And Firna, the tavern keeper, refuses to give me more than one day off a month. How am I supposed to hunt when I am chained to this stove? <laughs> Maybe I'll become a pirate. Get myself a bird and an eye patch. You're all little to me. Little and squishy. How do you mean? I don't work for free. Yeah, uh, this will do. For now. He promised. I'm sure there's a dinghy in your future. Does this every time. Just have to wait. Don't see why you'd spend all that time arranging your food if you aren't making it look like a funny face. I didn't see what Sedusa was fussing about. Nothing wrong with being tidy. Cheers. What do you require? We had a contract with the Valian Trading Company to defend one of their most valuable properties. If you're looking for work, I hardly recommend them. They pay well, and they pay on time. Consistency in the shipping lanes. Good for types mercantile, but better for types piratical. Did you say something? Ah, just admiring your spread, my lad. Nothing better after a meal than a ripe pair of melons. Indeed. The good captain has four adequate berths, all equally sized, all facing the same direction, and she's promised to leave promptly. A most agreeable arrangement. 
Out of the question. We're due in Tokoa for another contract, and the client has already paid the advance. And we have already paid Seduzo. I couldn't possibly take back the same coins I have already spent. A gold-packed knight is bound by his contract, and ours binds us to make all possible haste to Tokoa. Booking passage on another ship on such short notice would be most expensive. Look around. The dead fire is filled with misery to say nothing of the gullet. Folks like you ain't helping. Have a heart. Or is it already dead in your chest? I have oaths to keep. Perhaps that means little to you, but I am bound by them. What better life do you imagine for them in Rawatai? They will only trade one misery for another. Besides, I have a contract to fulfill. Damn, if that thing burns while we're still here. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Consider it done. Watch this won't do. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Easy breezy, wet and sleazy. Excuse me, I must see to business. Excuse me, I must see to business. What do you require? A gold-packed knight is bound by booking passage on another ship on such short notice would be most expensive. All ships leaving for Rawatai are laden with luminous Adra and other rare goods. Mercenaries, even of our skill, do not rate so highly. So it does. Consider our business concluded.
is your business with me? That is convenient for you. But never mind. If there's trouble, I'm staying out of it. The births are paid for. You can send your friends as long as you promise not to make trouble for me. Just do it soon. I don't want any mess you've made to spill onto my decks. You must be new. Lucky for you, we have a special rate for newcomers. A bag of coppers in exchange for your life. Told you. It seems we've made a mistake for give and forget, no? <laughs> was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Of course not. He worked on the docks, I I'm sure of it. The overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Such talk will bring him to our doorstep. What say, then? Uh, sometimes, Cap, you remind me of serving with Romaro back on a sorcerer. More than halfway to heartwarming. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Of course not. He worked on the docks, I I'm sure of it. The overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Such talk will bring him to our doorstep. place for outsiders. To the old city, Ikira. A god's cursed ruin filled with walking corpses and abominations of the deep. Uh, and the remains of lawbreakers and troublemakers. The gullet is no place to wander. Watch yourself for rowdies and pirates. Otaro? He associated with foreign criminals. I cannot be certain about Biha, so I let her go. But I will be watching her. These wicked sorts overrun the gullet and corrupt the Raparu. Our justice must be swift and firm. Hers is the first house you come to. Just there. You will probably find her there. Are you mad or merely lost? 
That place is a punishment for the lowest sort. Go and explore someplace with pleasant views and fresh air. The harbor, or Hariki's Overlook. It's your neck, Kira. We will leave the lift down there for half a day. That should be enough time to come back to your senses. After that, you are on your own. The guard will let you pass. Though I urge you to reconsider. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. Then you'd best ask elsewhere. But careful. If the Mataru Overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for you. Food, of course, and supplies for the road. Though, most here come to me for poisons and venoms. I have plenty. Though, if you're buying poison and ailment, mind you store them separate.
Looking for something to sharpen the senses? To help you leave your sorrows behind? I got it. Sorry, friend. You need a blade, or a bludgeon, or some sturdy armor? Umani has what you seek. Then you blunt your teeth talking to me. Go and see Ernezo. His shop is just across the way. Old Umani's stock is tested in the hands and throats of the fiercest sorts in the gullet. You need a blade or a blood old Umani Be discreet. Something approaches. What is this kith creature? Ugh, it's making my skin crawl. What secrets does it bring? Let us see. Let us see. Keep your weather eye open, Cap. A fork probe ain't much to worry over, but I'll be a two-headed ogre if that's the only trick up them silk sleeves. The language of tongues is a dull, tedious thing. Why ask when you can see for yourself? A watcher, the deerwood, the untamed wilds of the living lands. A death, a life, a wild sea, stirred by storms and pirates and... 
Ah, a wonderful secret. I don't trust this creature at all. Yes, you have been generous with us. There is a place below the slums, old, cold, and abandoned, where the city swallows those it wishes forgotten. But this place was once part of the city. So was its temple, a site holy to the goddess of distant, forgotten things. We dig. There are many mines here with many secrets, many depths with even more. A city under a city. Another in the ruins. It teems with young secrets, rivalries and betrayals. We seek the older secrets, buried deeper and carved on weathered stone. Your friends, the broken down creatures of this place, they know the old secrets, they know, but they do not tell me. Swapped in sparkling, Captain. Back up. No shops this way, stranger. You think I'm standing here so I can tell you about it? Come on, go. <sighs> That's up to Dario. You are looking for something, Amika. Eh, Perhaps I have it. Ernezzo has not seen you before. You must be new. New or very good at disguises. <laughs> ah, but you are the one the Roparos speak of. They are most fond of you, but not so discreet. But how did you hear about this place? Wait, no. Do not tell me. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. Merla, it is a dangerous pest. When it dug its lair, it did not even ask permission of their... Uh, <clears throat> of the boss. Do varmints normally do that? Get permission from your boss? They say it is a mind reader. We in Dalves Row are simple folk. Quiet folk. It does not do to have a mind reader nosing among us. You understand me, yes? Eh? I hope you are not ill, but never mind. If the Mataru come asking, I will not tell. But Drowner's lung is very serious, very deadly. The cure is not cheap, but how can one put a price on good health? On the other hand, you are an assassin, no? Maybe you do something for me, and we consider the medicine your payment. There is a certain merchant here, who needs to not be here. This merchant runs a shop at the end of the street. People know it as the Spindleman. If you get rid of it, then I will give you the medicine. 
Hold on, not so fast. Do they call him that because he carries a spindle, or because he's got spindly legs? Of course. Only do not tell anyone where you got them. Come on, let's get a drink of firmness. It's early. We'll go when it's dark. Fine. I don't know how you tell that. Eh? Yeah? They'll never know I'm here. Consider it done. Isn't this something? Be supposing we could uh, blow it up. Right here. This calls for a subtle touch. There. What did I tell you? Sure. Back up. No shops this way, stranger. <sighs> That's up to Dario. Clap, but it'd give us away. I 
I got this. Hold it right there, mate. State your business. I mean it. Spill your guts or spill your blood. If you've come to see Mad Morena, God shield your soul. Far be it from me to be stopping your march into death. Captain's there, and she's in a fit of a mood, so step lightly, I. And who, or what, do we have here? Where I see it, you've got two options. You can tell me you sent you, or I can feed you the shaft of my gun. She always has the most lovely and interesting sorts vying for her attention. Suppose me and you ain't so different in that regard. Say I happen to have a fella wanting for a full shipment of crude luminous ardra, but I have no ardra to sell. Loot me no less than three crates, and I'll be, let's say, better inclined to do you a favor. If you're a particularly daring sort, you might snatch it from under their noses. Them valiant trading princocks have a stockpile of it in their mill in Queen's Berth. Otherwise, you could raid them in shallow waters as they ship it in. Well, regale me. and you had nothing to do with it, then I need to know how it happened. Guess that's the way of it sometimes, but it's not what I would have hoped for. Ulu wasn't any ruffler. He didn't deserve that. Everyone in the gullet knows Ulu's my man. Everyone except the Mutaru. Gotta be them what got him. And though it pains me to say it, if the Mutaru are biting for blood, it's best if I back off. I can't be feeding the Reparu right under their noses. You know what I want. Get me the Luminous Ardra, or pay up if you wish to buy my cooperation. I invite you to hand it over swiftly, then. Ah, oh, what lovelies. Aye, fine work you've done. Work I won't be likely to forget. And neither will Captain Aldis. Best believe I'll be sending her a missive to sing of your praises. A deal's a deal, then. We'll catch us a fresh contact. Round up the shipments again soon, strong and sure. The Ruparu will have to stand on their own two feet someday. But for now, we'll keep them out of the ground. Bide where you are, lovesome. Well, regale me. See to your business, but stay out of ours. Right here. Easy does it. Sure.
Mm -hmm. I see where you're going. There. What did I... Leave it to me. Isn't this something? I got this. I got this. I know who you are. I make it my bag to keep my eyes on the new fish that end up in the gullet. Rats round here been whispering about you. I'm guessing you're looking to buy some art, yeah? Then you've no need of me, eh? Just don't go filching my regulars and we'll get on fine. I think you made a wrong turn, Bilger. You don't belong in the row. That thing's web of lies and mind filching finally got the wrong scab pissed. Poetic, eh? I can do it, but it'll cost you. This spindle man's well guarded, even by my standards. I can handle the ogres and kith, but I'll need funds to cover my, uh, bases. Rest assured, the spindle man will trouble you no more, or anyone else for that matter. I'll be back when the fun bit is over. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. Belfetto? I heard certain rumors. Of course, I did not want to ask too many questions. Uh, I know not what you speak of, Aimika. Surely you have me confused with someone else. No more, please. Your medicine, as promised. 
Hey, how did you do that? Can you do that again? To think the fate of Aora rests in our collective hands. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. I have no choice but to hope this venture together fares better than our last. We will accept the Principe's generosity and work to return it tenfold. Never can I thank you enough, Watcher who has the ear of both Kiss and Gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. Should you need refuge within Nekadaka, know that the Raparu will stand by your side. May Amira's wind ever fill your sails, girl. We will not forget what you have done for us. See what I can find.
Watch and learn. a lesson.
Hey there. Consider it done. Leave it to me. I got this. I got this. Real quiet now. Fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Easy breezy, wet and sleazy. Keeping an eye out. It done. I'm not looking for trouble. Not anymore, I mean. And I've not got a weapon on you, see? It's just, you're the first body I've bumped into in days that's actually breathing. I mean, could it be you're delving for forgotten treasures? Same as me? I followed you. Just a ways. Hoped you were trudging toward an egress. Then the undead spewed up and I thought you would die. Yet, you cracked them like they were nothing. Right? And a successful one, usually. I'm loath to admit it, but look, I'm too desperate not to. I've found not a single trinket and no end to this pit since I first crawled down. I thought to follow the rivers out, but the caves are crawling with grubs. I packed provisions enough for two weeks. Started rationing when things looked grim after the first odd days. I... I don't know beyond that. 
Andra's lure seems hardly worth it now. Suppose I fell for the bait, though, didn't I? Fable temple full of treasures in my ass. I scaled down from the cliffs, but midway, the rocks turned slick. The best bet's the rivers at the base of the pit. They flow beneath the outcrops, so they must dump into the sea. The trouble's been reaching the base. The western caves wind downward, but they're riddled, infested. Walking them's not been safe. Yes, right. It's safe to make for the rivers then, or it's safe as it's likely to get. I'll head downward now. Mayhaps we'll meet again in the darkness? Take heed if you've plans to trudge deeper north. I only glimpsed it once, but whatever nightmare lurks near the falls of the pit, it's incredibly massive, and surely just as mean. and an heavy bullet or a cap.
come along now. I'll guide you through the wheel. Teach you a lesson. Sneaky bird. Ha. what I can find.
Wait, look there. Wait. Show him how it's done. To me. One of my eyes be open. Right here. I think I can't see you, you sneaky bastard. I see a soul in it. This one ready for.
and learn. Take a peek. <laughs> Consider it done.
me. Yes? Indeed.
Show them how it's done. I'll teach you a lesson. Consider it done. to oblige. Captain? Be right there. Hard to be that is disgusting.
soul. I'll teach you a lesson. Supposing we could uh, blow it up. Out my wheelhouse, friend. Mm-hmm. Sure. My fingers be fat and furry, but it's walked in sparkling, Captain. you a lesson. something.
I'll teach you a lesson. An architect worth lovers beyond the secrets. this. Give me a real challenge. Consider it done. Watch and learn. Well, we're still alive. What's next for our daring escape plan? Me? I've been through worse, and I'm tuned to survive. I'm good with a thread and needle. Give me half a chance to get out of here, and I'll be fine. Then I'll make it. I know I'd hoped, but honestly... I didn't really expect you'd help me. I owe you, friend. If you're of a mind, meet with me in Port Maje. I'll make it worth your while.
My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Of course not. He worked on the docks, I I'm sure of it. The Overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Of course not. For what do you torment me? He was a good man. The Overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Such talk will bring him to- Of course. I only hoped. It is no matter. Thank you. For telling me. What say, then? Uh, sometimes, Cap, you remind me of serving with Romaro back on a sorcerer. More than halfway to heartwarming. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. You've caught the eye of someone important. If you're interested in making good pay, and a good friend, head to the Narrows at the western end of the gullet. Once you reach the alleys, go right and right again, as soon as you can. Then, follow the bend to the left. The bullies guarding the door have a weakness for chewing's fev. You can follow their trail. Tell them Dario sent for you and remember your manners. I say Bia did right leaving the gullet. She went and did what she needed. I'll miss Bia and her elk. It's too quiet without them. May they go find fortune. here you make your appearance at last I had wondered when we might meet but I must say I did not expect it to be with a trail of enemies behind you you must forgive the cryptic introduction but I prefer to remain among the comforts of home oh there Dario been a tick or two, I. I ain't seen hard nor rare of your scurvy ass since I were on the sorcerer. I have been busy, as have you and your new friend, no? And among my guards, for you have made a rather grisly mark in Delva's row, no? But had I only known there was a watcher in my midst, I would have extended the invitation sooner. A pleasure. I am thinking we could be grand friends, you and I. You cannot have too many friends in Nekataka. That depends on the type of friend we're talking about. And I need only a favor. An insignificant thing for a watcher like you. There is an artifact called the Cornet of Waves, which is currently in the possession of a Juana named Takano. I would like you to liberate it for me.
Alas, none of my people are watchers, and you will see things they cannot. Takano is a man of many vanities, as your special gifts will no doubt reveal. His villa is on the eastern edge of Serpent's Crown, just downwind of the palace. The opportunist I first hired was too bold and found herself ejected from the district. With your genteel manners and unique talents, I am hoping you can avoid such complications and persuade Takano. After all, it would be best to avoid drawing the ire of our Mataru hosts. When you have the cornet, bring it to me. I will pay you well for it, and you will find my favor useful in this part of the city. It is an old Juana artifact, a musical instrument of sorts. Ages ago, it was part of a pair, but its companion, the Cornet of Depths, was lost when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of Andra herself. I do not believe in such superstition, of course. I have told you all you need to know of the cornet. Now, I suggest you focus your sharp mind on retrieving it. Yet you are still standing here, no? It is only a shame I did not hire you in the first place. Gallarde! You watchers truly are workers of miracles. Never let it be said that Dario does not pay a fair price. Now, allow us to put the question of money to rest. It is an unseemly topic to linger on. What do you require? Why must we speak of sides, like squabbling merchants from the republics? Once, there were no sides. Only Principi, a people united by common interest and culture, but as our fame has grown, so have our numbers. Many of these new bloods have no sense of restraint and little regard for our heritage. Uh, he ain't blowing ballast, Cap. Don't mean there's a course to be charted back in the golden days, though. But we need them still. The new bloods are Principi too now. And many are inventive in ways the old god is not. A storm, a rash decision, and an accident at sea. One that took my sailing days, but not my skill with a needle. Life in the dead fire is unpredictable. Sometimes it takes you in its jaws only to spit you out onto some new shore. A most agreeable topic, or so I hope. What do you require? A moment, I almost forgot. Bergamplanca. Take it and indulge my vanity. It is not as grand as the sails I once made, but my fingers are ever restless.
What do you require? Hey there. Be right there. My intelligence speaks of agitated whispers in the Valera household. Have on, then, and don't leave me in suspense.
Now we know enough to sidestep this particular trap. Here, your deserving pay. I suggest we allow this heist to play out as intended. We will watch as our enemies walk into a trap. This will be the end of the Valera's short, ignoble reign in high society. It most decidedly is. I have no use for a faint heart. Find me when you come to your senses. Speak up. My business never sits still for long. Speak to Captain Villamy. You will find him downstairs in the vault. Take it that Ed Sally clued you into the plan. You will wait in the shadows of the vault. We will bring up the rear with reinforcements. Shame, that. Care to elaborate? Only thing preferable to a plan so simple be going up the rear myself. Standard procedure is to trap the area around the vault. We've moved them all inside. You'll thank us when you don't lose any limbs. A modest sum and a few cobwebs. We've relocated most of the wealth and the valuables. Relocated to where? Beyond your reach, lady. Even if we're getting the drop on these Valera scum, I'm not about to stake a client's fortune on our success. We do what comes naturally. Etsali wants this handled cleanly and without loose ends. I am sure that the thieves as well prefer direct confrontation over the alternative. We cannot arm Otello with any indictment against the Bardatos. If he told the Juana that we struck first, we will all end our days in the gullet. I don't intend on losing any good men or women tonight. My guards will keep a low profile and watch out for the Valeras. Be sure you do the same. Merla! It's Zali is sharper than she lets on if she knew we were coming. Surrender now and I offer you mercy. I make no promises that I'll follow through. I'd be intrigued if I thought for a second that it's Zali means to spare me. For your lives, boys! At them! Show them how it's done! Oh. Her aim was about as shaky as her plan. Go on and head up to it, Sally. She'll want to hear what happened. 
I've seen worse. I'll have someone fetch a qualified chirurgeon who knows how to pull out cheap bullets. Consider it. Pleasure working with you. You must gather your... ...party before venturing forth. Postinago. What fools these Valeras are to think I would not protect what is mine. Mela, it is the end of enough. I would see a thorough bleed for this. Take your bounty then. There's more where that came from. Atello has led his family into their present misfortune. Kill him, and what remains of his litter of jackals will destroy itself. It hardly needs to be said that I'll reward you handsomely, but I will say it all the same. Do we have a bargain? It's not a difficult profession to pick up. Think on it. I have yet to hear the wailing of the Lara mourners. Then ask, but do not waste my day with trivia. I have yet to hear the wailing. Then you had better go and fix that, shouldn't you? I have yet to hear the wailing of the Lara mourners. I once entertained the idea of peace with Atello. Now, I'd rather march his family into the sea. Need something? That could save an awful lot of sick people. <sighs> Didn't think you were like this, Watcher. But... Can't imagine it came cheap. <sighs> Take this. 
It isn't much, but it's all I've got. That settle us? Because I should get these people taken care of soon. <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I better start treating the sickest ones. Need something? Need something? About the only honest one. Not that I'm... And Dario and his principy scum took all the while. Some are driven. Others hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. With some to other days. There, look what the Watcher's given me. It's pretty as a picture, ain't it? Ahoy. If you be having a tick, Cap, I'll be thinking that, uh, if I be dragging you into these depths, you deserve the full sounding. Uh, fair enough. Ahoy. Oh 